For this project, I started with Nick Pro Deep Pour Resin. It's a two to one ratio epoxy resin that you mix similar to other resins in a cup. The only difference is you use two parts resin to one part hardener. So I was given this glass from a lady that I volunteer with and she says, you're creative, can you do something with it? Her granddaughter had given it to her, I think for Christmas. And I had picked up these uh, different sea grasses, plastic, on Amazon. And I took one of them and I actually used UV resin and I glued it to the bottom of the glass using the UV resin because I was afraid it was going to float to the top. So I just used the Let's Resin UV resin, put a little bit on the bottom, stuck it to the bottom of the glass, and then I used my UV light. And this time I turned the UV light upside down and I set the glass on top of the UV light. This is a real nice one by Let's Resin. You can actually set it for up to five minutes, two, three, and five minutes, and uh, then it's done. And then I had some crushed shells that I had picked up at Michael's and I put that around the seagrass. Next, I took this little tiny turtle and used UV resin and attached it to a piece of sea glass and put that under the UV light. See, I'm afraid that, and also starfish, I'm afraid that these are going to um, not stick to the bottom, that they're going to float when I pour the resin in, so that's why I attach them to something heavy. Once you put the Nick Pro resin in there, you pour it over the sea glass, the sea glass will almost disappear because it's such a light color and it will hold the turtle at an angle and it will look like it's actually swimming and not just fall to the bottom. And um, I did put a few other things in there, some shells, some, some more uh, starfish, and then I poured the resin in. And I left it about an inch from the top because after this has set or gelled up some, um, after a couple of days, I am going to take some fish and put those on the top. I'm just afraid if I put the fish on the top now, they will sink to the bottom, and I don't want that. I want it to look like they're swimming towards the top, but not totally on the top. So this does have quite a few, to bu few bubbles, but they do all raise to the top. This resin is really nice. It's pretty much bubble-free once it sets. You can use your kitchen torch or heat gun to get rid of any bubbles that do settle on top. Any that are left because the majority of them do dissipate once they come to the top. And a lot of bubbles are created with the shells in that, especially those um, little shells that have openings in them. So two days later, I take the three little fish and I set them on top. It's gelled up enough. And I, I ended up getting some resin settled on that yellow one. That's why it looks like that. But I go ahead and I pour the next uh, batch of resin on top. And something did fall in there and I ended up fishing it out with a toothpick. I don't know what it was. It was real hard to find. It was clear. But, um, I do use the torch then to get rid of the bubbles, and again, the majority of the bubbles do dissipate on their own, but you can use your kitchen torch or heat gun or whatever to help get rid of bubbles. So each layer does take a full three days to set. I put the fish on it after two days. Hey everyone, so um, the story behind this cup was a lady that I volunteer with handed me this glass and said her granddaughter gave it to her. I thought she said for Christmas, but I'm not sure. She says, can you do something with it? You're creative. And I thought she said that it had the state of uh, Texas on it, but I guess that's New Jersey. And um, and I, th I said, you want me to break it up? I thought maybe she wanted me to like break it so that and take this out and put it on some project. She goes, no, don't break it. <laughs> so anyway, I've had it home for about a month. And the first thing I thought of was just, you know, sticking some flowers in it. But, you know, if she just wanted flowers in it, she would have done that herself. So um, she's, I think she said surprise me. I hope she did, because <laughs> it'll be a surprise. So um, anyway, that I've never done anything like this. And I wanted to use, um, 
I had that deep pore resin, which works wonderful. It just takes a long time to cure. Um, I think it takes like two hours, two hours, two days before you can demold it if you're putting it in a mold. And um, then it takes another full 24 hours to cure. So it takes a full 72 hours to cure. But anyway, I think this turned out really cute. And a few of those things in there, like the star, one of the starfish and the turtle and something else, I don't remember what it was. I actually put UV resin on it to, um, to and cured it to a piece of sea glass and stuck it in there. And I'm glad I did that because um, I didn't show you all the time, but like this one big starfish kept on floating to the top and I kept on pushing it down. And a couple of the shells kept on floating up also. So if you have, um, if you've ever worked with UV resin, it, it would be a good idea to do that. You could secure it to the bottom or whatnot. And also the um, large purpley blue, um, seagrass or whatever that is that's in there, I also secured to the bottom with UV resin. Let's see what it looks like from the bottom. Well, just, just like that. <laughs> so anyway, I, I thought it was really cute. It turned out nice. The little turtles look cute. The fish um, worked out good, but the fish, you really had to wait until uh, the bottom had cured for about 24 hours till it was... Um, firm enough to place those fish on there, otherwise they would sink. I think I might have even waited longer than 24 hours. I might have waited two days. Um, but anyway, all in all, I think it turned out cute. I hope you guys, oh, I wanted to show it to you on this. I have this little um, light thing that I had picked up on Amazon. They have them in circles and in squares. And um, the only ones I have are the ones that change colors. So I kind of wished I had one that just stayed a steady, um, you know, like white light. But anyway, I'm going to show you this. Let me see if you can see this here, but I'll bring the camera in closer. So, yeah, I mean, it's pretty. It changes colors, but I think it would be better if it was just one uh, color all the time. Let me go around it so you can see the different things in there. Actually, I could just turn it. How's that? <laughs> and there's the state of New Jersey. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. I guess uh, clicking the like button, sharing, and putting comments all help the channel for them to, it has something to do with an algorithm and then they pass it on. So um, anyway, they recommend it, I guess, to other people. So, um, and if you enjoy the channel, go ahead and subscribe. We have the Facebook page going, an amazing group of uh, people posting their beautiful artwork and uh, trying to help everybody. If you have a question, everybody's always willing to get, you know, give you try to give you an answer to your question and help you out and i hope you guys all have a great day thanks for watching